All right, so something happened in SketchUp 2024, and I think we need to talk about it. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. As a YouTuber who makes resources available for people that might not necessarily be using the most up-to-date version of SketchUp, um, a lot of the time I do when I'm working with models, like to save them to an older version. And so a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll save them to a 2017 version just because that was the last freely available um, desktop free version that people could use. One of the things that I noticed um, that was something that I, I don't think really got talked about on the uh, SketchUp documentation page is they've actually changed the versions to be versionless. That means if I do a file save as right here and I click on the little drop down, remember how there used to be an option in here for save SketchUp models to older versions, right? So you could pick like version 2017 off of this list. Well, you might notice that went away in this version. So I started doing a little bit of research on this one just to kind of figure out what happened to that. And so I found on the SketchUp forum, somebody asked the question, the 2024 update won't save as older versions. And so um, if you look, there's a, there's a response from a SketchUp team member saying that uh, SketchUp 2024 are now versionless. That means they have backward compatibility with all supported versions. And if you remember, SketchUp is supporting the last three versions of the program. And further on in the forum down below, it's noted that models saved in version 2024 can also be opened in 2021, um, even though that's outside of the supported version. So that's like an unofficial support type thing. So basically, if you save a model in SketchUp 2024, you can open it in SketchUp 2021 and on. And so there's a lot of use cases where people that are using the older legitimate versions of SketchUp, that's a little bit of a problem. And so really to me, there's two discussions about that. There's the practical, how do we solve this problem? But then there's also the, what does this mean for free older users of SketchUp that purchased a legitimate license and um, just haven't upgraded? First off, let's take a look at a possible solution. So um, there were definitely discussions in here about this solution. And one of them is from a different form forum post right here from Desmo. So Desmo is uh, one of the SketchUp sages over on the forum and he helps a lot of people out with SketchUp and specifically what he did in this case is he went back through and he wrote an extension um, that you can use in order to save to an older SketchUp version. And so what that means is that means that you can download this right here out of the forum. So it's not even in the extension warehouse that I'm aware of. And you can download this RBZ file and you can install it in SketchUp. So note that he says that it's non-signed. That just means that he hasn't gone through the 3D warehouse process. So he just wrote this very quickly, but um, it's working in my version of SketchUp 2024. And so he does note, use at your own risk. To me, all that means is make sure that you save a backup of your file before running it through this extension. I've not had any issues, but it's always a good idea to do that. Anyway, Way. So just make sure that you've backed up any files before you try using this just in case. And so we can go into the extension manager right here, click on install extension. And so you just go find that RBZ file, you just click on it and then you open it to install it in SketchUp. And it's going to show up in your list right here and you can just enable this right here. And note that if you get an issue about this being an unsigned extension, you can go up into your uh, your settings right here and you can set your loading policy. So I have mine unrestricted only because I only install extensions from places that I know and I recognize. I can link to a full video I did on this in the notes down below. Um, if you have uh, issues with that, then you can also set this to approve unidentified extensions and then you can just approve that one. Um, so that that's kind of your call. That's kind of a security thing. I've not had a issue with this, but you are probably going to have to enable or allow those unsigned extensions. But once you do that, what that does is that's going to now include an option for save to older SketchUp version. And so just a note, I've not had any issues with this, but it's probably a good idea to back up your files just in case before doing this. And so what that does is it gives you multiple different options for saving as an older version. And so there's two different options in here really. So first is you can do save actual model as version. What that would do is that would take this version of the model and save it as an older version. So if you do a file, save the older version, click save actual model as version. Note how you can set the version in here by selecting this and then click on OK. Alternatively, and this is what I would usually use because again, I'm making files available uh, for download on like my Patreon page and things like that. I would do a file save a copy as. And what that's going to do is that's going to save a copy of the SketchUp file in whatever version you want. 
So say that I was to save this as a 2017 file, click on OK. Um, notice how it appends that version 2017 to the end of it. Now if you were to open that, notice that it's going to tell you that this is a 2017 version of the file. So you can use this in order to save back to older versions. <laughs> Assuming they don't break the API functionality for some reason, that should be good for the at least short term, at least in the 2024 version. And so one thing that's worth discussing is where this takes us in the future. Now in the short term, we have a solution, right? You can save these files to an older version. As long as this remains in the API of SketchUp, it's not really an issue because someone can write an extension that does this. Um, in the future though, there is always the possibility that that could get removed from the API, but maybe it won't. You don't really know. Part of me says that it's kind of a move to push people into buying new and updated versions of SketchUp. I think that's part of it, but I also think that at a certain point, maintaining compatibility with those older versions does take additional development resources and things like that. And just from an organizational standpoint, I can see how they would want to keep people in their current infrastructure. Now you can still download 3D warehouse files, other things like that in the free version, and then export them and download them that way. So from that standpoint, there is still a free version where you can access all of these different models. So if you do have a user that's using an older version for their own personal stuff, they could still use the SketchUp viewer or the free version of SketchUp in order to do that. The one thing I don't really like about that, and this kind of reflects back on an issue that I've talked about in the past, is that does force you into the SketchUp free infrastructure to access those models. And as we know, the SketchUp free infrastructure does not currently support extensions. That does kind of like strip down the ability of what people can do with SketchUp models, which I think is a little bit of a bummer. So like overall, I don't think I'm mad about the whole thing because I, I understand you can't keep supporting the last free desktop version that was released in 2017, like years and years and years ago. You know, you just can't expect to continue supporting that from a development standpoint. But I do think it's a little bit of a bummer just kind of moving away from that free desktop version, which was something that for a very long time kind of made SketchUp like a massive, massive force in the 3D modeling space. Um, not that it isn't now, but it, it is just kind of a move in a different direction. Now, that being said, I also do think um, if you step away from those limitations, it probably gives you the ability to build things into SketchUp files or SketchUp's API and things like that moving forward in a way that you couldn't before. So I think there's benefits here as well. I'm just kind of mixed on the whole thing. But in the short term, there's an extension that can solve the problem and we can just kind of keep moving forward as usual. So um, I'm sure I'll get all sorts of comments on this video. I do always ask, please keep it civil, but I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. Um, if you do want to check out my video on all of the new features in SketchUp 2024, I'll link to that on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.